from News Channel 5. Joining us now is Chad Slagle with Slagle Financial to answer your questions about retirement, investing, and savings. We have really great questions today. Well, let's start right off the bat, Chad, with uh, Colleen. She says she's going to retire in a couple of years. How can she tell if she has enough money and enough income to retire? Well, a good example. First of all, you need to look at a couple variables. Number one, do you have debt still? Mm. You know, a lot of retirees that we run into that are getting ready to retire are getting close to retirement. Number one, normally their homes are paid off, so they don't have that debt coming in. Uh, hopefully their children are out of the house and they have the college paid off or those loans are on the children now. Mm. So really the only debt they should have would maybe be a couple of vehicles for a married couple. But one way to tell this is you usually want to have 70 to 80 percent of your pre-retirement income coming in when you retire. In other words, if you're making $100,000 a year now, when you retire, you want to make sure you have seventy dollars to $80,000 a year coming in. Now where does that income come from? Right. Could be Social Security, if you're old enough to start uh, taking Social Security, could be from pension, could be from other 401ks or retirement accounts that you're coming from, that, that when you retire that that money is coming from. So that's what you want to look at. Around 70 to 80 percent is a good uh, rule of thumb to use of pre-retirement income coming in when you retire. Great, great advice. Okay, Cynthia writes, I have a lot of my savings and CDs at different banks. She uses the interest off of those to live, but a lot of these CDs are maturing and the interest rates are dropping. What can she do? Well, that's a huge problem that a lot of retirees have. When you know, 35% of retirees today are living only on Social Security. So then, if you figure, hey, we got to have some interest off of our CDs. A lot of people, you know, two or three years ago, were making four and a half to five and a percent on their CDs, are now maybe making one and a half or two right. and a half. So what I would recommend that you do is sit down with a financial planner, or an expert, and put together an income distribution plan. A couple of vehicles are very good to use that give you insured income. Would be what's called a private pension plan or an immediate annuity would be a good way to say, hey, I know that I have this money coming in each and every month guaranteed for the rest of my life. Is there anything um, in addition to that annuity that will give you that percentage that the CD isn't paying now? Well, the problem is, you know, you can look at the stock market. The problem with the stock market is there's no guarantees, oh, yeah. and you cannot get guaranteed income off non-guaranteed investments. Okay. Um, another question coming in uh, says, I, I recently retired. I'm feeling better about my investments because of market gains. My accounts are coming back. I want to make sure I don't lose another chunk of it. Uh, I'm not comfortable with the stock market, uh, or he's not as comfortable as he used to be. Um, how can I go about making some adjustments to my portfolio to make sure my money lasts throughout my retirement? You know, that's a great question, yeah. and it's one that we get each and every day in our office because people are seeing, hey, the market's over 12. As you said earlier, Lisa, it's six days of the market being up. You know, what happens if it goes back down? Can you afford to lose 20 to 30 percent of your portfolio after getting some of those losses back? And it really goes back to the old rule, which we've talked about before on the show, is what's called the 100 age rule. You need to take a look at your age, take a look at your risk tolerance, your income needs, and your lifestyle goals. And it's the 100 age rule. Take 100 minus your age. So if you're 60 years of age, 60% of your money should be safe where no matter what happens in the market, you cannot lose it. Now, again, on, depending on the other variables, you may want to have 40% in the market in a good managed model that is designed specifically for you and your needs and your wants and what you want from that money. Thank you, Chad. Great questions today. Thank you for writing in. And, Chad, we will see you next time. Thank Chad you. Slagle with Slagle Investments.